Hey YouTube, this is Donald and today I'm going to review one of Sega's second handhelds to be released that also failed miserably called the Sega Genesis Nomad. Now the Sega Nomad is basically a portable Sega Genesis that plays actual Sega Genesis cartridges. This was Sega's final attempt in the, v in the portable gaming market but it failed. And, I, and I'll explain as I go, but I'm, as I explain the console's features. Unfortunately, the console was never released in Europe, nor was it released in Japan. It was only released here in the U.S. But anyway, let's get into the features. It's got the Sega logo, it's got a D-pad, which is considered to be the best D-pads on a handheld. It's got a mode button, start button, A, B, C, X, Y, Z buttons. So that way you can, it has six buttons so in total, so that way you can play one of the fighting games. And it's got this LCD screen. And the screen is unfortunately a little washed out. You know how these LCD screens can be in the 90s. Because this screen's obviously washed out. So it's hard to see it outside in the sun. But it's easy seeable in the dark. It's a color screen with a backlit screen, just like the Game Gear, except it's a little washed out. Underneath, it's got a volume dial, volume dial headphone jack a second controller port that says controller 2 so if you wanted a second player you can grab this controller like like this one and plug this in like so and plug this like in like so Got a brightness adjuster dial. There's nothing too exciting on the sides. It's got an AV input, I mean e AV output. It's about the same AV slot as the as the Sega Genesis Model 2, Model 3, and the 32X. It's got a cartridge slot for Sega Genesis. The Genesis cartridges would plug in like so. Now unlike the Sega Genesis where it's region free, this thing is region locked, so it's not going to be able to play Sega Mega Drive games from Europe or Japan. It only plays U.S. games. It's got an AC adapter port, and next to that it's got an on and off switch. And under and on the back, it's got a, a compartment for, it's got a, these holes to attach a battery pack and another thing I might grab about gripe about the about the Nomad is because the battery pack this is what the battery pack looks like it attaches on the back like so it attaches on the back like so Hold on. It attaches on the back like so. Oh, and one thing I might have to gripe about it is that it uses six AA batteries, which makes this thing a battery hog. And you'll be lucky to have a certain amount of hours of gameplay before the batteries dry out. But that's optional. You can actually use an AC adapter. Now the AC adapter port is identical to the Sega Genesis Model 2, 32X, and the Sega Model 3. And the Sega Genesis Model 3. It's got the same AC adapter as the 32X. As you can see the pin looks the same as the Genesis Model 2, 32X, and the Sega Genesis Model 3. Here's the AV cable. As you can see, it's got the same pinout as the 
32X, it's Genesis Model 2, and the Genesis Model 3. Except this one is entirely different, though. But it'll still work either way. It's only got yellow for video and white for audio. And here's the car adapter for the Nomad, which is actually a car adapter for the Game Gear. It's got the same pin as the as the Game Gear. It does plug into the Nomad, however, however, the Nomad did have its flaws. For one thing, if you if you bump the Nomad, like you're, I think it might be a bad time to play the Nomad like in a on a bus or a boat or a car, because if you somehow bump the Nomad, it'll freeze. So I only use this just just whenever I visit somebody else's. Uh, I won't explain that, but I still use it anyway when I'm away from my Genesis. And when there's nowhere to plug in my Sega Genesis to a TV. So I pretty much use this. And it's a pretty useful console. I may not be able to take it to stores, restaurants, or something, but it's still not really too portable, but it is still portable. But they market it as a portable console. Either way. But anyway, in conclusion, this is not really a console that I would worth, that is really worth owning. But, but if you like, but if you but if if you're gonna use it for when you're away from your Sega Genesis, like you sit back in your bed, you can use it. You can exactly use it because it'll certainly work with it. Yeah. Oh, and if you're gonna buy a Sega Nomad anyway, uh, be sure to. And uh, oh, I forgot to mention where the speaker is. This is the speaker over here, and it says here Genesis Nomad. And also, and also about the Nomad, it's nice. Pick one up if you want to try it out. But if you don't really, if you already have a Genesis then I wouldn't really recommend it because it's nice, but it's not all that great. And it's today it's kind of pricey because it didn't sell very well. And if you're going to buy one, be sure that it comes with a battery pack or an AC adapter because you're going to need one of those. You're going to need at least a battery pack if you're going to play it on places like your bed. back on your feet on in the living room couch when you're gen when you're far away from your genesis cuz overall so i wouldn't really recommend it unless you don't also don't mind paying paying a lot of money f to get this thing with the battery pack and the ac adapter And there might be a list of Genesis games that will work on this thing. I don't know what, but it show you the list as you go. So anyway, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and like the video, and yeah, I'll see you on the next video. This is me, signing off.